Good morning, everyone. It is, I guess, wow, this road's bumpy. I guess the last time you saw me would have been two days ago. We had a great day of hiking in central Georgia. And uh, it's, it's still really cool outside. It actually feels a lot colder because it's windy today. But uh, it's really the first cool, sunny day of the fall. So I'm out here cruising some upland roads with Daniel. And we're really hoping to see some hognose snakes. So anyways, this time of year can be really good for road cruising. So we're going to basically just drive in circles all day and hope to see some snakes crossing these dirt roads. But anyways, today could end up being a total bust because it's so cool. But I will keep you guys posted if we start seeing snakes. Hopefully we will. All right, guys, we've been at it for a while. It's really windy out here annoyingly enough and it's pretty cool only 66 degrees and uh, surprisingly first snake of the day is a baby coach whip a notoriously heat tolerant and heat loving snake out in this cool weather i'll take it he's doing a little little bit of a puffing up right there these guys are really cool looking as babies i mean the adults are beautiful but the babies are just kind of interesting looking Definitely a little more interesting looking than the baby western coach whips. What you doing, bud? Oh. <laughs> He's surprisingly warm for how cool the air is. Well, guys, there we have it. First snake of the day. We're going to photograph him real quick, let him go, and keep moving. Baby eastern coach whip. All right, guys, a few minutes later, sitting here in the shade where it's cold, a baby southern hognose snake first hognose of the fall hogtober started early this year it's still september and there we go look at that so awesome second snake of the day all right guys we escorted this little guy off the road safely and uh we're gonna leave him alone and keep at it Hopefully there will be some more snakes out. First hog nose of the season, a little baby southern. Awesome. Great way to start. So this species is thought to be declining pretty hard throughout its range. So awesome to see evidence that these guys reproduced here this year. Awesome that we can move this guy off the road and for safety. We're going to do just that and keep on cruising. Adorable. Just so you can see how small this guy is one more time. Little baby hatchling, southern hognose. Be gone, stay off the road. Well, that's kind of random and unexpected. That is a tailless mole skink running across the road. Well, that is definitely random. Unfortunately, his tail is broken and that's the coolest feature of these guys, but you can see his back end is really kind of pinkish orange instead of a blue tail like a lot of skinks have. These guys have cool orange tails, but anyway, it's kind of interesting. I'm gonna poke him on the butt and make sure he gets off the road or he's just gonna sit there. Huh, what a weird animal. What a weird thing to see running across the road. <laughs> I'm gonna go in that hole. Sure enough. All right, guys, just got the next snake of the day zooming across this intersection. This is the third baby coach whip we found. One of them got away. This one is grumpy. All right, buddy. Look, you can see his track right there. It's pretty faint, but that is coach whip number three for the day. All babies. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Grumpy. Oh, wow, quite the attitude. Let's get you up. Let's get you out of the road before a car comes along. There he goes. All right, guys, that took a while, but there is our first adult Simus of the day, and it is a beautiful adult male. This guy's amazing. Holy crap. Stunner. So you can see this guy made it. I guess he started to cross the road you can see his tracks there this is my car tire i went over his track when i passed him he turned around right there and uh decided he wanted to go back the way he came from so i'm assuming he maybe got spooked and realized he was exposed and decided to turn back around but either way look at that all 
All right, grumpy. Beautiful. Healthy adult male southern hognose snake. We're just gonna make sure this guy continues off the road, I guess in the direction he was heading, and keep cruising. Snakes are out. What a beautiful snake. He is now off the road. Hopefully he'll stay off the road, but just dang, awesome. Never get tired of finding these guys, especially the adults. The babies are fun, but the adults are just much more impressive and prettier generally. They color up a little bit better as they grow. You can see how sharply upturned this guy's snout is. That's one of the ways you can tell them apart from Easterns. They can have similar color patterns, but these guys are just so much more stouter. And uh, obviously the face is a little bit different with that super big upturned snout. It's a lot more dramatic than on an Eastern. All right, beautiful. Stay off the road. We're gonna keep moving and see if there's any more out. We saw a track of uh, another adult Simus and uh, we tried to track him off the road, but we couldn't follow the track, didn't see anything. Well, it's about 4.30 at this point, which means the day is probably winding down. We don't really have much reason to stay here later than that. Because it's going to cool off so fast once it starts, the sun starts to go behind the horizon. So we're probably going to call it a day here, and I will see you guys next time I get out in the field. What is up, everyone? I'm out today a little bit closer to home, um, just driving around. A lot of snakes were moving today. I found some pretty disappointing DORs already. Um, but it's one of the last warm nights of the year, most likely, so I'm going to try to see some stuff after dark. Um, but I am going to drive around for the rest of the afternoon, hoping to see some diurnal activity, too. So this will probably, tonight we'll probably wrap up this video in the event that I actually end up seeing stuff. So I will plan on seeing you guys when I find a snake. I just passed a truck, and I cannot believe he did not plaster this little guy. Look at that. That is a neonate timber rattlesnake. Awesome. Just what I was hoping to see this afternoon. Right here, only about 10 minutes from my house. Well, he moved a little bit and flattened out to, uh, I guess, make himself look bigger. They'll do this to absorb heat too, but that doesn't really make too much sense in this situation. Sounds like there might be a car coming, so. I'm gonna get this guy to the road. All right, little guy, thank you for gracing me with your presence. Stay off the road and uh, good luck getting a meal before winter. Good looking little snake. And on to the other side of the fence where he'll hopefully be safe. All right, it's gonna be getting dark here soon, but I just cruised this little guy. Kind of interesting to see one out and about during the daytime. It happens occasionally, especially on rainy days like today, but Beautiful little eastern newt eft. This is the terrestrial stage of these guys. They're actually a salamander, so they do tend to be active during more dry weather than most salamanders. Like this road is, is actually, it feels warm to the touch. And then this little guy, of course, hanging out, just crossing it. Anyways, I'm going to help him across the direction he was going and keep moving. Hopefully there will be some decent snake activity soon. Well, if this looks familiar, it's because it's the exact same spot I found the newt on the last pass. But first snake of the night, there's a little ring neck right here. Kind of a weird thing to find, but I guess it makes sense given how damp it was today. Anyways, I'm just gonna escort him off the road. Still probably like 15, 20 minutes of daylight left, so, or at least dusk. But anyways. Um, that is a surprise. <laughs> I've never seen a cottonmouth around here. That is awesome, and it is a beautiful one too. Just wow. I love these dark cotton mouse. What a beautiful snake. Well, anyways, he's a little grumpy. Snakes are out. I'm going to keep cruising and see what else I can turn up. Dang, vipers are moving tonight. Nice size copperhead. Next snake of the night. This guy's right in front of someone's house, so I'm going to move him out of the road in the direction he's heading and keep cruising. What on earth? Copperhead, one second. Copperhead number two for the night. I have not seen many of these at all this year around here and suddenly they're everywhere tonight. Anyways, pretty cool, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna move this guy off the road. It'd be really cool to get a pygmy tonight and get the Viper Grand Slam. 
all four vipers in North Georgia in one night if we can get a pygmy. Unfortunately, my best pygmy roads are soaked and they're probably not gonna be moving there. So I'm um, gonna be kind of a long shot out this way, but they should be out here. And if I do get one, it'd be a county record and my first from this area, so. Another one. This one's big. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Man, that's a big copperhead. Holy crap. This thing is so big, I really do not want to take a bite from it. So <laughs> I'm not going to get any closer than that, but wow. Big copperhead. I moved it into the road so you guys can kind of see a little bit better. I mean, that's a three, over three foot copperhead. That's insane. I've seen two big dead ones tonight, but this is the first live one this size. That's crazy. All right, out of the road with this guy too. Go on. Next snake of the night's a little double stop. There's a little rat snake right here and up the road. A nice little American toad. Oop. Get out of the road. Go. All right, go towards the rat snake. That works too. All right, anyways, have not cruised too many of these guys at night this year, so pretty cool. Are you kidding me? That is a county record and a rating extension. Barking tree frog. <laughs> Holy crap. I have never seen one of these guys here. That is awesome. That is so freaking cool. I cannot believe that. These are the largest tree frog we have here in Georgia and one of the tougher ones to find here on the fringe of their range. But uh, as far as I know, this is the first time they have been found in this part of West Georgia. So it should be publishable. Anyways, that is so awesome. This is probably one of the highlights of the night so far. I'm gonna photograph him real quick and move him out of the road. Here is another one of these guys, second baby rat. Actually, the last one was probably a yearling and this one is a neonate from this year. Probably hatched out back in August or earlier this month, but pretty cool. Snakes are still out and it's getting a little bit late, so we might be in for a couple more, we'll see. I'm actually going to make my way over to my pygmy roads and just try those. Uh, I'm not really, having very high expectations but I have to hit them tonight and try for that pygmy.